In a previous video, we discussed how to choose the best car wash product using four basic criteria, softness, absorbency, nap, and releasing dirt. In this video, we're gonna use those products in that prior video and test those against our four criteria. Now, because there's four products, a microfiber wash mitt, a genuine lands wool wash mitt, a synthetic sponge uh, coated in microfiber, and a natural sea sponge, I taped the car off into four sections. Four products, four sections. Now in order to make this work, I needed a car that was very dirty. And because mine was clean, I decided to use my wife's, which is not. It's filthy, it gets washed every time it rains. So the car is prepped, let's test some products. The car is taped off, been sprayed down, and we're using the two bucket method. Now the first sponge that we're gonna test is the microfiber wrapped synthetic sponge. And out of the package, it's extremely soft. And it holds a lot of soapy water. Now what I don't like about it is once it becomes soapy, the sponge inside the wrapping becomes balled up and compressed and it doesn't rebound back to its original state. And it kind of makes it difficult when you're washing the car. After washing only a quarter of the car, the sponge became deformed and compressed. However, the microfiber that was in contact with the vehicle really did a good job removing the dirt and grit. But my biggest concern is I couldn't get the microfiber to completely release the dirt and grit into the rinse water. So this is something I'm probably not gonna continue to use. The next product that we're gonna test is the natural sea sponge. And when this is dry, it's pretty rough. But once it becomes wet, it's extremely soft and it absorbs and holds a tremendous amount of water. Now, let's use this on the car. You know, that worked really well. Naturally, it has a lot of nap. You can see all the nooks and crannies. It did a great job pulling dirt and grit away from the finish and into the sponge. It also did a great job at releasing that dirt and grit into the rinse water. I never even had to use the grit guard. I just squeezed it out a few times right in the water and it released everything. You know, something else I, I really like about the sea sponge is once you're finished with it, you rinse it out thoroughly, set it somewhere to dry, and it's ready for the next, next use. It's really low maintenance. So this is definitely something I'm gonna be using on all my vehicles moving forward. Now, let's look at the microfiber knobby mitt. Straight from the package, it's extremely soft. Now it's not as absorbent as the sponges, but it holds a decent amount of water. So, see how well it washes the car. Okay, now the microfiber dreads of the knobby mitt created a lot of surface area. And the nap of the microfiber did a great job pulling dirt and grit into the mitt. But because this is a microfiber product, I had the same issue with the mitt that I did with the sponge. I couldn't get it to release all of the dirt and grit into the rinse water. In fact, the dreads made it even more difficult. And you can see from the discoloration of the side of the mitt that I was using to wash the car and the side I wasn't, it's clear that this wasn't releasing. Now the instructions for both microfiber products say to launder separately after each wash. But me personally, I really don't wanna to have to do laundry right after I've washed my car. So like the microfiber sponge, because it doesn't effectively release dirt and grit, it becomes increasingly abrasive. And again, I don't know at what point it will mar the finish, but I really don't wanna find out. So, in the future, I will probably not be using this product. The last product to test is the Genuine Lambswool Mitt. 
And of the four products we've tested, this is the softest right out of the package. And just like the microfiber knobby mitt, it holds a decent amount of soap, but not as much as the sponges. Let's see how, see how well it works on the car. The nap created by the high volume of wool hair did a great job pulling in and trapping dirt and grit. Also, it did a much better job releasing that dirt and grit than the microfiber products. And although I prefer the natural sea sponge, I would gladly use this on my vehicles. After using all the products, each was soft, absorbent, and had enough nap to effectively wash the car. However, the main difference between them all was how effectively they release dirt. And it was clear the microfiber products did not release dirt and grit well. And remember, I was only washing a quarter of the car. Had I washed the entire car, the microfiber products could have become abrasive enough to mar the finish by the end of the wash. Now, if the only way to remove the dirt is by laundering it, well, I really don't wanna to have to launder those products after I've washed a car. You know, it's pretty ironic that the two natural products outperform the two synthetic products. But overall, I thoroughly enjoyed using the natural sea sponge. The lamb's wool mitt was great too, but the sea sponge, it was so easy to use and it released everything it picked up off the car effortlessly. Well, I learned a lot making this video and I hope you got a lot from it. Until next time, thanks for watching.